Welcome back to the show. Thanks for joining us. And now we're going to see Maurice Smith take on Yusuke Fuke. Now, Josh, Maurice Smith was a UFC heavyweight champ until Randy Couture beat him. And then uh, someone we both know took that title from Couture. I did. And uh, funny enough, uh, Randy Couture had been coming up and training in Seattle for various fights uh, in between the one uh, that in between uh, uh, prior to, sorry, the fight that we had uh, for the UFC heavyweight title and actually training with Maurice Smith. Uh, at that time, and when I competed against Randy Couture, Maurice Smith was in his corner. All right, th this is Maurice Smith's third fight. Let's see how he fares. Suki Fuke versus Maurice Smith. Fuke in red will probably look for the takedown as he gets that single leg of Smith trying to take him down. Maurice using that size and strength advantage, clutching the neck of Fouke, but ending up on the mat even still. Maurice defending. And Maurice Smith is a big man, Josh. How much harder does it make uh, for you as a fighter to take someone down if he is just so much bigger than you? Well, I, I can say that taking guys down like Semi Schilt and uh, nice, nice reversal flip. by Maurice, uh, taking guys down like Sem Schilt, uh, Jimmy Ambries, and... Uh, um, Dan McGee is quite the difficult uh, endeavor. And uh, you know, when you got a guy 300 pounds, 6 foot 10, which is a, someone sizable in comparison to me, uh, that's a lot of weight to move around. And Fuke here is going to have to, well, nice single leg trip up by Fuke, taking, uh, making it a little easier for him. But uh, he's expending a lot of energy trying to throw Maurice Smith around like that. And Maurice Smith is a world class kickboxer, so Fuke will want to keep this fight on the ground where he can neutralize those kicks. Fuke in good position now on top of Maurice, looking for the leg, but Maurice, oh, and a nice armbar transition by Fuke. As the fighter's a uh, little too close to the ropes, uh, we can probably expect the refs to break the mark once again. Right there. And Smith able to get his arm free as well, but being in the ropes, as you said, forcing the restart. Both fighters on their feet. Maurice Smith has to be uh, happy about that right now. Both fighters working patiently. And Fuke once again coming in, and Smith throwing a knee strike to Fuke, and Fuke goes down, and he's breathing hard. Well timed knee strike by Smith right into the abdomen of Fuke. And Yusuke Fuke, uh, he's got eight seconds, an eight count to get up, and he will not make up. He will not get up, excuse me, and Maury Smith is your winner, a KO victory, 248. And Maury Smith, for his third career fight, looking pretty good out there. Great running knee by Maurice, just using all that size and power, taking Fouke right out of the match. All right, and our next, next match is going to be Vernon Tiger White versus Leon Deke. And Josh, Vernon Tiger White, possibly still a, a cub, not, hasn't yet fully grown as a fighter. Well, he's, uh, he's still working his way up the ladder and, and scratching and clawing as far as he can get. But uh, here with Leon Deke, he's got a student of Boss Rutens, mm -hmm. but also another uh, relative newcomer to the game of MMA. A newcomer he is, Leon Deke, making his MMA debut. Let's take a look. Leon Deke versus Vernon Tiger White. White, a nice spinning leg kick, and Deke responds with a kick of his own. Deke keeping the pressure on. Big show taste from Deke. Nice high kick. And Deke uh, has a background in Thai boxing. As you can see, uh, the, the kick's very smooth and fluid. Deke. Nice big spinning back roundhouse by Leon. Ends up in the takedown, though, by Vernon White. As we see, Dyke has White in the full guard. White looking to uh, create some space, maybe, and go after the legs here. And Dyke covering his head. And now, 
White once again. Now, White's submission moves uh, not too impressive yet at this point in his career. But uh, as we see here, possibly trying to work on the legs of him. Vernon drops that leg across. Going after the heel hook is both men. And both men giving it everything they got. And White just gave it a little more. He wins via the heel hook and he is fired up. All right, moving on to our next bout. It's Masakatsu Funaki versus Robert Bjornathan. And Bjornathan, he's from your neck of the woods, Josh. He is. He was uh, one of my teachers over at AMC. Uh, an incredibly tenacious individual with uh, hellacious strikes. Uh, facing against uh, a very tough and grizzled uh, competitor in Funaki here. Funaki having all the experience, but uh, Bjornathan didn't get the nickname the Pitbull for nothing. And with a name like Robert, I think he might give it some incentive for you to cheer him on. Uh, as long as his name's not Bob, I'm okay with it. And let's see if Bjornathan can come through versus Funaki. Robert Bjornathan versus Masakatsu Funaki. And he is coming in on Funaki, and uh, early on, it doesn't look like he's intimidated at all. No, Bjornathan is not the kind of guy to, to back down regardless of the situation. Uh, I, I, he knows that Funaki is, is the top guy in Pancras. Move to the side. And right now, Funaki has Bjornathan mounted, trying to move him to the center of the ring. Funaki here settling in the mount, trying to get uh, that lock around his waist broken. Attacking the neck is Funaki looking for that choke, that judo choke, by jamming that top hand under the chin of Bjornathan. Is now setting up for the arm lock is Funaki. And a very dangerous position for Bjornathan to be in. Todd's got to know what's coming. Uh, let's just see if he can get that arm free and defend before Funaki can finish. And Bjornathan has to keep his hands together and he is unable to do so. Loses via the arm bar. Masakatsu Funaki. A very impressive win. 220 in the first round. Robert Bjornathan loses the fight, but nothing to be ashamed of. Masa Masakatsu Funaki, one of the best. Yeah, and in fact, uh, Bjornathan would go on to fight another Pancras stable, uh, stable mate. Akihiro Gono later on and win by armbar in an incredible match, uh, which saw Bjornathan come back from a knockdown, uh, dazed, com a complete second round in an entire fog, and uh, deprive uh, Gono of his arm in that third round. And Masakatsu Funaki, also a co founder of Pancras. Okay, we have to take a quick commercial break, but don't go away. When we come back, the other co founder of Pancras, Minoru Suzuki, is in action.